Before we work out how to find the units of a rate constant, it might be worth reminding ourselves what the rate constant actually is. And it's the small k found in a rate expression, for example, and it tells us something about how rate is related to the concentration of the reactants in a reaction, in this case A and B. It's worth noting that this rate constant is specific for a certain reaction and also specific temperature conditions for that reaction. To calculate its numerical value from experimental data, we must rearrange the rate expression to give K equals. To do that, I would need to divide both sides of my equation by A, or the concentration of A, and the concentration of B squared, something like this. Note that I can remove the exponent of 1 from the concentration of A, because anything to the power of 1 is just itself. So if I was asked to calculate the numerical value of K, I would simply need to look at my experimental data for the rate and the concentrations of A and B and plug those numbers into this equation. In the same manner, if I want to work out the units of K, I can simply plug in the units for rate and the units for my concentrations and then use a bit of maths to simplify the answer. So let's consider how that's done. The units of rate will always be moles per decimeter cubed per second. And the units of concentration in these kind of questions will always be moles per decimeter cubed. So if I know these units will always be the case, I can simply plug those units into my expression for k, like this. And now I need to simplify this and ideally give all of my units on one line. So in order to do so, there are a couple of simple mathematical rules that help us deal with values with exponents. Firstly, if I'm multiplying values with exponents, I can simply add the exponents together. Secondly, if I am dividing values, I can simply subtract the exponents from one another. Let's now try and simplify my expression for k by dealing with all of these units. Firstly, let's try and simplify the units on the bottom of my equation. Here I have moles per decimeter cubed multiplied by moles per decimeter cubed multiplied by moles per decimeter cubed. So because I am multiplying those three units, I need to add together any exponents on the moles bit and the decimeters cubed bit meaning I will end up with something that looks like this. Note that for moles I now have mole to the power of 3 because I used mole to the power of 1 multiplied by itself 3 times and for the decimeters to the minus 9 we've got that by adding together the minus 3, minus 3 and minus 3 from the previous step. Now my aim is going, to simplify, is, is going to be to simplify the following units and hopefully end up with a set of units on just one line. So let's deal with moles first of all by dividing the top and bottom part both by moles. This will allow me to cancel out moles on the top part and make the moles on the bottom part to the power of 2 because I've subtracted 1 from 3. Now let's simplify the decimeters units by dividing the top and bottom by decimeters to the minus 3. This will allow me to cancel out the decimeters to the minus 3 on the top and then change the decimeters to the minus 9 on the bottom to decimeters to the minus 6, leaving me with something like this. The final step of the simplification is to put all of these units on one line. So for anything on the bottom half of my equation, I can move it up to the top half by simply changing the sign on the exponent. So moving moles to the power of 2 up to the top will make it moles to the power of minus 2. Decimeters to the power of minus 6 on the bottom will become decimeters to the power of 6 on top. And the seconds to the minus 1 is already on the top, so I can leave that as it is. 
And there we have the simplified units for the rate constant for this reaction. This same process can be applied to all of the different rate expressions and will probably give different units for K in most cases. Hopefully this video was of some help.